is Let's Go Fishing. Got my boat partner and his wife, Marcus and Katie, today. So switching gears again, started crabbing yesterday, going for Dungeness Crab in Bodega. And we got here at like 3.30 p.m. And we just wanted to try it out. I had four Promar Ambush XLH hoop nets and loaded them up with some salmon heads from the season and some squid, random stuff, and uh, soaked them for like 40 minutes. First pot, baby! Marcus! Woo! Let's go! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right now. And we ended up getting 17 keepers in 40 minutes at 3.30 p.m. So pretty excited for today. We have, what, 10 hoops out? Uh, we already threw them out. When I watch the videos, I think the least fun part is watching them deploy the hoops. So. Uh, we're just going to take video of what we catch, hopefully we catch. Uh, we're in about 90 to 100 feet of water and again using all the carcasses and whatnot from the salmon season. So we stayed last night at a campsite called Duran. It's got its own private launch too and it's beautiful. I slept in the boat. Um, I boat partner and his wife stay in the tent but super nice everyone's real nice there and uh, it's got shower bathroom all that good stuff so pretty cool legit campsite if you guys want to check it out coming up on our first one so these have all soaked for about 45 to an hour now So yesterday, same spot, we got seven with four keeper. No, 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 this spot was the 13 yes. with like eight keepers. So not producing today, but we got nine more to check out. Something bird. like that. There's some? Uh, no, no, no. Might be a bit. Oh, 
some. Get that, get that. Those are big. Oh my god, that's heavy. Let's go! Smile, boys. Dude, those are... <laughs> tell the difference that was I think 140 feet and absolutely nothing so good thing we caught a lot before huh buddy yes sir all right one more deep one then a bunch of uh, those light hoop nets that we're gonna check out maybe got some rock crab in there six we redropped two have four on board well, we're gonna check our shallow ones but should take a look at this uh... what are we having for dinner Giovanni's. Giovanni's. all right let's get those shallow ones see what happens
Campsite. This is day two. Today we got our limit. This is the Duran campsite that we got right next to the water. This is that uh, inlet, and then there's the bay over there. Pretty cool setup. So I gotta show you guys while there's still light. So in here we have 18. They're just chilling right now. The reason we did that is because when we were separating them, we did the jumbos in here, and those are jumbos. Buddy, day three of this three-day trip, and we are just putting down our first one. We picked up Charles. He was at our campsite too. Still got Marcus. Still got me. Katie ended up not coming out, and I don't blame her. Today was kind of choppier, and uh, she just wanted to sleep in. So we got an earlier start. We're gonna fish for uh, hopefully just another couple hours, and then uh, we have to leave today. So hopefully we get three limits again. strange things with this trip was the use of this XL HD hoop. Uh, it's the one that's like 23, 24 pounds and it's shaped the same. It's almost got the same dimensions as the XLH, but the first go was nothing. Second try was three and that was the day before. Uh, that last one and this one both skunk um, and everything else produced like really good. So we started thinking poachers kind of ruled that out because we stayed close. Another reason, possibly, 
the fact that the bait was different and also just location. Uh, and one interesting thing, a guy with the North River uh, that had parked really close to us after we were done, he started talking to us about the XLHD and he said he didn't get anything with them. So we started concluding that maybe it was the orange rope on top because everything else was either black or red. We don't know, but like other guys like Crispy Fish and those guys out there that post videos, when they use the HDs, they're fine. So it was probably just the bait and location. number eight another traditional hoop net these ones are much more shallow we went about 60 feet and got another four five yep. not bad looks like there's only one that's not legal all right so Spot number nine, and I already see color. This is another traditional hoop net. Nice. Number 10, Any color, last one. fishing adventure for all the tips and hints and tricks that he gave. Uh, if you don't have him on uh, subscription right now, go ahead and follow him. He's uh, from the area and a wealth of knowledge. Also, Crispy Fish, a lot of people already follow him, but if you have not, make sure you subscribe to Crispy Fish too. He's helped out a lot and all this stuff. Part of the reason I got the cooler as well. So. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.